There are certain things you must touch in prayer that mobilizes the power of the Spirit. And when a man wants to generate power through intimacy, the first place he must journey to is the realm of the voice of God. When God speaks, the power of the Spirit is activated. If you have prayed and have not heard God, keep praying. If you are worshipping and you have not heard God, keep worshipping. If you are singing and you have not heard God, keep singing. A prayer without the voice of God is useless. A worship session without the voice of God is unprofitable. That's why people said, I have prayed. I have done everything. Why is it not working? It's not the prayer that changes things. It's the voice of God that changes things. The prayer is only a gateway. The prayer is only an access point. The prayer is a portal that you activated in order to arrive where the voice of God dwells. Because he said the voice of God is upon many waters. The waters are the dimensions of the spirit. He said the voice of God thundered. He divided the flames of fire. He said he causes the hinds to carve. That means the authority and the majesty of God is encapsulated in the voice of God. And so when a man wants to touch the voice of God, he begins to look for spiritual vehicles that help him to travel there because this king doesn't shout everywhere. He dwells in the midst of the coast of fire. He said, God, we ascend from the secret place of thunder. There are men that know the economy of the voice. And so every time life begins to turn to a mirage, they begin to look for the voice of God. There are many of them that will go to a hiding point and pray for weeks and pray for months. They are not coming out to tell you how long they prayed. What they are going to apprehend is a voice. And when God speaks, even if it's a whisper, it's enough. 